All right, in this tutorial, we're going to be going over how to place waypoints um, both in the normal aircraft systems and as well in uh, the A60. It's a little bit different in both, um, and I'll explain that. So, every aircraft can handle the import of at least one waypoint. Um, I'm going to go ahead and show you that here. What you have to do is you have to go to your map and find wherever you want to put your waypoint down. So we're here, we're kind of facing off more in this direction. So I'm going to put a waypoint just in front right of the helicopter. And I'm going to do that and I'm going to press left control, left shift, and I'm going to hold down the left click to where it's at this point here and I'm going to release. Correction on that, it should be left shift, left click. Um, and it'll send down that, uh, this symbol right here, which is the waypoint. Um, I go back out and I look around for it. I will see it pop up in my display here. actually below me. See that right there? That symbol right there that's floating below us. I'm gonna back up a little bit and you'll see it. But that's what a waypoint looks like. So you should see it here on the ground. Right there. So as you're flying in, in an airframe you can do that for quick target um, acquisition if you're getting called in for grids. You can do that for LZs. So very quickly, wherever you're flying, right, you just orient and see, oh, hey, it, and the LZ is right there. So you might not see it through um, terrain or whatever, but as you're getting close, that helps you to do your um, your hand-to-eye walk-on or where you need to be, and allows for a very easy um, maneuver uh, once you get close to the objective. Now, for the H60s, um, one of the things that we can do is we can actually import a number of waypoints um, via the micro dagger. So I'm just going to put in, let's say, one over here on top of the Igos Minas. Put this one here, I'm just going to put um, way one, which is going to be another waypoint, and I'm going to say to add. So now that this point is here, um, what I can do is I can just hold that where it's going to be. Uh, if I go over here to the control system, go to navigation system, um, and I'm going to go ahead and do M dagger import, press F, I'm going to say accept. So it'll put all the waypoints that I want to put in here that I already have on my uh, GPS. Um, so it's only importing the map mark right now. Let me go ahead and delete that. And it'll actually say what, um, what point the name is. So it literally says, oh, they're real. It switches to way one now. So, um, if you're doing a map mark with this one, um, it'll override that. But if you're doing in any other airframe, it'll be the, the one and only waypoint you have. There won't be any system like this. But for the H60, I can put in multiple waypoints. And you see where it says one out of one. And next and previous, I can literally switch two different waypoints, and it will generate that uh, symbol that we just saw um, for the waypoint. And you see the bottom right-hand side; it now shows, hey, uh, 0.4 nautical miles, bearing 2:11, 35 seconds to that point. So, if we rotate to 2:11 of the compass. We see that there's an arrow right where 2:11 is on that compass. Up. What do you know? There's our symbol. Um, so for the 860, very very powerful tool. You can do flight planning. You can do um, all sorts of stuff with that. Um, you know, if you want to set up TRPs, um, put a waypoint on it. Call it TRP1. Switch your TRPs. You can see where it is. Get your bearing. Get your flight data. They quickly orient and do whatever you have to do. But that concludes how to use waypoints. Um, well, generally for all airframes, which is that one only on the map, and importing from the micro dagger for the H60. That concludes this tutorial.